Since becoming the first American Idol, Kelly Clarkson has sold over 20 million albums, won three Grammys, and too many other awards to mention. Well, now the busy mom is also rolling out her very first children's book called River Rose and the Magical Lullaby. Wow, Kelly, you are juggling a lot. I don't know how you do it. Uh, uh, me neither some days, but um, <laughs> we're doing it, though. <laughs> yeah, you are. You so certainly it's, it's are. Happening. <laughs> so this is a new direction yeah. for you, writing children's books. Tell me how you started doing that. Uh, well, it was inadvertently, really. I, I originally wrote it for my daughter, and just all these little stories. We were traveling, and her passport was just, like, flooded with all these stamps of cool places that she wasn't going to remember, obviously, at the age of one. Um, so I, I wrote these little stories for her and with these little pictures. That's what the idea was going to be. And then my husband and, and Nanny read them, and they were like, you should make children's books. And I was like, okay. I don't know if anybody's going to read that. But anyway, they ended up really cute. So I'm, I'm pretty, pretty excited. It was very organic and not planned. So. Yeah, this is a story of the night before going to a zoo. Uh, and it's, it's yes. such a fun story. Tell me about it. Um, well, and it's basically like the night before, like, you know, she gets to go to the zoo. She, she's like every other kid and she can't, she can't wait. You know, she's so impatient about it. And, she, you know, it's, she's hard to sleep. She doesn't want to go to sleep. And so her mom comes in and sings her her lullaby. She says she won't go to sleep until that happens. But um, then she, you don't know if she falls asleep or if she's like awake. You don't, you know, it's kind of this magical book where um, all of a sudden these balloons kind of run into her window and tap on the window and she sees them and the lullaby takes her to the zoo and then she has like the animals are singing and dancing and talking with her and and it's like this whole magical experience that you're like is she dreaming or is she not and um, and then it, you know, it, it, well, I'm not going to tell you how it ends. You have to get the book. <laughs> oh, yes, and you should because uh, not only is the story wonderful, but the illustrations are absolutely beautiful. Oh, man, Laura Hughes did a beautiful job. Yeah. yeah so nice. Okay, so tell me how writing a book is different from writing a song. Um, well, I wrote it initially kind of the same way. I was up on an airplane all night long. Um, <laughs> and like I said, I wrote it for my daughter. So it, I kind of did come out, um, you know, lyrical, obviously, because everything I do kind of gravitates that way because I'm a songwriter. But, um, and I also loved um, rhyming children's books. So um, it kind of did come out that way. But I will say converting it to a children's book was, was quite the challenge because it is different. Um, how kids, you know, receive meter and cadence and all of that when you're, um, when it's a rhyming book, you yeah. know. And so it was, it was, it was challenging. But my editor is Superman, David Linker, and <laughs> we did it. So it did, that was the most challenging part, though. How does River Rose like her book? Oh, she loves it, but she loves it because my face is like huge on the back of it. <laughs> so she loves, she calls it the mama book. Um, she doesn't quite get that she's River Rose and like it's based off of her. Obviously, she's two, but, um, but I kind of like that because she's already kind of a diva. So I don't know <laughs> if I want that to set in. <laughs> right, right. Is that the Nashville Zoo that we're seeing in the book? Um, it's, uh, well, it's every zoo. She's been to so We literally travel all over the world and she's been she always goes to like zoos or museums or like if I'm working my nanny is Allie is amazing she takes her everywhere and our nine-year-old as well um, and five month old now so um, they are always busy doing something like while mama's working so she's been everywhere she's been to like so many she's done so much as a kid like that like a lot of adults haven't even done in their whole life wow. so um, she's they're all super blessed and and, um, but it's, it's a lot of zoos. It's kind of all the, even like the kangaroo she is in there. She's been to Australia. And so, you know, she went to like this kangaroo sanctuary. So we kind of tied in a lot of different um, animals from different parts of the world. So Neat. like a zoo. <laughs> well, it is a magical book. I just love it. I can't wait for the grandkids yeah. to get to see it. And there's a wonderful companion song that goes with it too. So what a pleasure to see you. And we're going to yeah. get to see you on the 11th at Toys R Us in Cool Springs, right? Yeah. That's going to be I fun. I think so, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be there. Yeah, I'm excited. Great. Well, nice to have you coming back to Nashville. I know you're on the road so much. It's going to be fun to see you here in town. Thanks so much. Yeah, thank you. Have a good one, girl. Hope you do, too. All right, look for River Rose and the Magical Lullaby wherever books are sold. Well, in addition to the book and special lullaby, there's also an adorable River Rose lullaby doll. And in celebration of its release, along with the book, fans will have the chance to meet Kelly and get her autograph on both the doll and the book tomorrow afternoon from 4 to 6.30 at Toys R Us in Cool Springs. Kelly's only meeting with 200 families or groups on a first-come, first-served basis. Lots more details and instructions on our website, so just go to newschannel5.com for more information.